Hi, so I'm gonna make a video on how to install Clipper on a Raspberry Pi Pico since it has been a couple of times in the comments. So first thing I need to clarify a few things between the most used 3D printer firmers and that's Marlin and Clipper. Okay, so the way Marlin works, it's written in C++, you need to compile it first using a a laptop or PC, something that has a more powerful CPU. You're gonna use for that either the Arduino IDE or the Visual Studio. And after you compile it, you upload it via the via USB B cable and next to via USB to serial connector to the microcontroller itself. And uh, just upload all the code and your code basically your firmware now rests on the let's say this is a um, Arduino rests here and it runs from here. So it needs to be pre-compiled because this one it will run at speeds between 16 and maybe 133 megahertz. That's how Marlin goes in case you need to change like your printer speed or anything. You need to come back here, change it here and recompile and up, re-upload. This is a bit uh, annoying. But it has the advantage that uh, you put all your software here. Now Clipper runs on Python. And Python needs to be run on OS operating system like uh, Linux or Windows. Uh, you do not compile your code like this. It just, uh, when you run the program, your CPU will interpret the code at runtime and just run it. Just similar in a way to compile it. It just doesn't compile all the files. It will just compile the just the files you're running. But uh, it requires a much faster CPU than uh, this the, the microcontroller. Basically, the Pico address here. You just it's just a very fast serial interface. So the your your host here from Python will send will make all the co compilation calculations compilations and send the the instructions to this one. And this one it needs to be fast so it can uh, send them to the peppers and the other hardware connected to it. This one. So it's in a way it's just a very fast serial interface in this case compared to this one where it uh, runs all the code and the calculation. Uh, so these are some types of microcontrollers just for reference. So they have very small RAM and uh, few fre frequencies. These two are a bit more faster compared to this one. Okay, so back to the topic how you actually install it on this one. Basically, you first need to install uh, Clipper on. So another thing, you only can run Clipper on Linux, and the problem is although Python runs on Windows, uh, Clipper it's written using serial libraries for Linux, and it's not compatible with Windows. And they also didn't bother to write some libraries for Windows, so you're stuck with with Linux. Can either run it like most people do on a Raspberry Pi 3 or 4 like this, or any other machine or small or small PC that can run Linux. But uh, one thing to mention is you need a, a faster CPU, something like this, one to two gigahertz, not slower. Otherwise, uh, you will have problem. Uh, so you first need to install Linux or something like this, either this or I'm running it from my laptop. And then you compile here We're using Clipper, I'll, just, I'll show you in a second. You'll compile a, a, a small, just like you did here, a very small program that you'll upload to this one. That program is not the whole firmware in like it was here, it's just a very small serial interface so you can communicate. Okay, so now let's assume, let, let me show you first. So if you search on Google Clipper, you'll find the installation link. And it recommends you here that you get the uh, OS image, say like the Octopi or the 
you can also use this one main sale OS if you don't want to use if you want to use something more fancy like I'm using in my videos this one comes with everything pre-installed the main cell web interface the clipper the web server everything and after you install that in maybe if you're using windows you can install this one in a virtual machine um you go to the clipper folder in my case i just uh, download it from the internet I've, I've done it before the video because it takes quite a bit of time you change directory to the folder and then you run this command they are mentioned here make menu config so this is a section of building and flashing the microcontroller okay you select the second the microcontroller architecture and these are all the the microcontrollers that uh, clipper support so your motherboard must have one of these if you want to use clipper as you can see ESP32 is not listed here as I've been using that one before but uh, Raspberry Pi LP2040 this is the Pico it's listed so we just select this one then you see you have here quit and then you type uh, make to compile the serial interface it takes around one to two minutes and at the end you're gonna get this file clipper uf so the way you upload this one to your uh, Pico. Um, so the UF2 stands for USB flashing. And that's, uh, that's how you basically flash it. So when you connect the Raspberry Pico to your uh, PC, it will appear as a removable flash drive. So you just uh, copy. Uh, this file to the um, removable flash drive once you do that you, your pico has been flashed also the removable flash drive will disappear when your os probably will trigger an error but uh, it's normal and it's fine you just flash it with a serial interface so the next thing you need to do is just type this command in the Basically, this is to show the serial interfaces, and now you'll probably find something like this: USB clipper RP2040, and this is the serial to be different. And you just need to copy this path and put it in your uh, clipper config or Octopi config is the same. And basically, that's it. Now your uh, clipper software running here will communicate with uh, your motherboard, which is this one. Basically, that's how you install the Clipper on a Raspberry Pi Pico. I hope uh, this makes things more clear. And if you enjoy the video, like it and subscribe it if you want to see more.